Welcome, I'm Maciej, and I'll present a summary, a brief summary of our recent paper that we released online called Demystifying Chains, Trees, and Graphs of Thoughts. We start the paper by uh, taking a look at the evolution of something we called topologies of reasoning, um, which is a common framework that we propose to, uh, to be able to reason about uh, all these different prompting schemes. We overview the development uh, starting from chains of thought, uh, via different forms of trees of thoughts up to um, up to graphs of thoughts. We also consider all these prompting schemes in the context of uh, of US developments where uh, we want to combine prompting with um, things like uh, running tools by the LLMs, uh, accessing the web, or doing retrieval with different data sources such as graph databases or, or relational databases or others. In this paper, uh, after taking a look at this evolution, we first extract the essence of prompting. Um, then we follow up and uh, do the same for the reasoning topologies, namely what are the fundamental building blocks and what is the essence of, of the structure enhanced prompting. After that, we analyze in detail several of these reasoning schemes. Uh, we compare them and try to extract uh, some insights about the fundamental differences between chains, trees, and graphs of thoughts. And we finalize with an overview of different reasoning architectures uh, for LLMs and, and general uh, generative AI, as well as taking a look at some initial theoretical foundations that have been um, applied to this field. In the essence of prompting, we extract the basically the, the basics, uh, the fundamental building blocks of the of the prompting pipeline, uh, starting from, from the user that sends a prompt to the LLM that may get pre-processed uh, and then follows uh, other basic steps uh, up to the point where we get the reply from the, from the LLM. All these details can be found in the paper. We also develop a so-called functional formulation of the prompting pipeline where we provide a way to mathematically describe these different steps uh, to facilitate, for example, uh, maybe developing uh, automated schemes for, for prompting or, or facilitating things like scheduling or in general thinking about this whole process. After that, we take a similar, similar look at the reasoning topologies, namely structure-enhanced prompting. And here we uh, provide both these definitions uh, in the context, uh, the for functional formulation in the context of reasoning topologies. Then we support it with an example where we identify and illustrate different types of reasoning topologies within the in-context examples provided by the user within the replies by the LLM and some other interesting things. We follow up with a blueprint for LLM reasoning. So a general blueprint for devising a new LLM reasoning scheme that can be now used to, to build a new such scheme. Right. Important aspects of this blueprint are, on one hand, the topology class. So is it a chain or a tree or a graph of what's, um, is it, uh, what is the topology scope? Namely, it, um, it can be contained within a single prompt or maybe it can, it can be contained across different prompts in different ways. Other important aspects of the blueprint are are the representation of the topology. So do we represent it implicitly or explicitly? Um, how do we derive this topology? So is it manual? Is it automated or, or maybe semi-automated? What is the class of the schedule? Because now we have to also explore this topology to some degree, for example, using the DFS or the BFS traversal, but maybe also, maybe also something else. Uh, next, we also take a look at the schedules. Uh, representation. So how do we actually represent now this schedule that we used to explore the topology? And uh, finally, we also take a look at these reasoning schemes from the broader perspective of the general AI pipeline and discuss how they integrate with, um, with, with training, with tool usage, with retrieval, and some others. We also then dive deeper into different variants of these tree and graph topologies, for example, covering um, and describing schemes that, uh, that use KRE trees, tree of chains, binary trees, um, and as for graphs, things like direct graphs with loops, uh, simplified graphs that have the form of branch and merge, even hypergraphs uh, and, and other types of topologies. We then continue with analyzing a few dozen of these schemes 
in the context of our blueprint. So we we list all these schemes here on the left side of this of this table, and then we analyze them in the context of how they fit in this blueprint. And then we we discuss their differences, different trade-offs, and, and, and other aspects. We also provide lots of examples that are supposed to, that are illustrating both the prompts, the replies, and the whole human LM conversations, but also in the context of these structures, right? So now how do these chain, tree, and graph structures emerge are visible in these conversations, in this LLM reasoning. And then we finalize with um, taking a more uh, foundational look at the differences between not just specific chain tree or graph schemes, but differences between these three classes of schemes. So what are the fundamental differences between chains, trees, and graphs of thoughts? And uh, we also describe uh, different aspects related to the reasoning architectures and foundations. So for example, things like scalability, parallelism, uh, programmability, and, and theoretical foundations. You might want to take a look at one of the specific schemes that we developed uh, in this in this field called graph of thoughts. Thank you for your attention.